I started working with Sam in uh, 1989, basically as a production assistant. Bob is really my very close collaborator in the post-production. He takes all the footage and makes his original cut first. And honestly, there's very little that I usually change about his cut. He really has a very good vision of the picture as it should be. I have a team of great, great storyboard artists that really help me tell the whole story of the movie. Then I have a team of animatic artists that take my storyboards and work them into a living, moving whole so I can actually see sequences before I have to shoot them. I would put together a scene from an, uh, these animatics and, and we would look at it and say, um, well, here's a scene that has uh, 100 shots. We only have enough money in the budget for 80 shots. So I would try to make cuts and try to make things make sense within the constraints of what we, where we needed to be at. The other part of the animatic was it was sort of a foundation for starting to build the sequence. And then I even cut those animatics together so that the second unit director can see what lens I pre it with, where it starts and where it finishes, and they're very good about bringing me what I needed or something better. One of the most complicated sequences in the movie was the Peter Goblin fight. The idea is that um, Sam wanted to have uh, this incredible aerial battle between the two characters. It was actually the first scene that I came on to start working on. And I, got the scanned versions of the storyboards and I started uh, putting them together, which uh, looked something like this, kind of giving a rough idea of uh, what the action would be. Then some of the shots were in a more progressed state where you know, they were sort of computer generated. As I started getting the footage, I would actually start uh, incorporating some of the live action footage into the animatic. Sometimes the animated scenes were a guide for scenes that would be shot using the actual actors, and then sometimes they were a guide for the uh, animators at Sony Imageworks to actually create them in the virtual world of CGI. Bob Morosky would cut the sequences together, but background plates and things of that nature have to be put in so we get a continuity of what's coming and what's going building-wise. You know, that's the, pretty much the key, in my opinion, to getting it to look real. The, the movement is so complex. He sh has to shoot, he has to take the web, and, and the web has to take his weight. He has to pull himself on the web, and, and you know, the body does different things. The trick was also to manip manipulate the background so it matched the, the movement of the actor, to really sell the idea that he was, you know, shooting webs and flying between these buildings. I mean, for me, the biggest thing, the biggest challenge was uh, dealing with footage from all the different units coming in, because, um, not only was first unit shooting, which you know, directed by Sam, but there were also a variety of second units, third units. Sometimes you just hit, deal, deal with it like you would deal with building anything. If, I mean, if you're building a house, you have to build it one brick at a time. I really love every part of the filmmaking process, but the the best best of all is actually you know when the shoot starts and you know getting the material and seeing seeing the footage for the first time and seeing what the actors bring to the material you know the performances how, how it you know elevates it to the next level which is which is always great listen to me i didn't kill your father <laughs> he was trying to kill me he killed himself shut up and then being able to take the footage that they give and um, working it into creating a scene And the nice thing about the Spider-Man movies is the movies are big, so you actually have a lot of time. So it's n nice to be able to actually put something together, step back and look at it in a, in a week or in a month or whatever, and, and go back and make things better and try to perfect it.